Hello there guys, my name is Effective Gaming and welcome back to another episode of the British Challenge. Today is the Champions League uh, playoff against Celtic. So it's a big chance to make history for my club. I could make it to the Champions League group stage for the first time under my management. So that could be really good and it could bring some great reputation enhancements for my club and for the league I suppose as well and actually to that end the league has actually gone up quite considerably from 133rd it's rose to 106 in the standings which is quite good it's now near series C1 and uh, it's above the first league in Ukraine I don't know where the first league actually is but and um, it's above the first division in Denmark so yeah, it's going up, gradually up, as a competition, so that's good. So yeah, they uh, Celtic lead 2-1 on aggregate after that 2-1 victory in the first leg. But we got a crucial away goal, which could make all the difference. They're favourites for this leg. And in the past meeting between the two sides, they've won two, and we've won, uh, and we've drawn one. So... Uh, who should I? I'm going to ask my assistant to pick. I'm going to play 5 2 3 anchor because I, I think for having three up front is important. And I'm going to play um, no, I'm just going to play this, but I'm going to have one more back in defense just to make sure no one scores. So let's just ask to pick again just in case. Cool. Uh, okay, so the lineup I'm going to go with is Lena Colding Gold, Robert Wilson, Christopher Haggerty, and Daniel Alfie in the centre back positions, and then in left back, Aaron Burns. In central defensive midfield, Lee Lucas and Billy Joe Burns in right back. Um, then in centre mid, uh, Philip Lowry takes the place. And then up front, my attacking trio is Wes Lurcher, Count A. Smith, and Daryl Ledworth. Let's just have a look and see how Ledworth done so far. Um, he's played once and he scored one goal, but then in the um, in Europe, he's played two times and he scored two goals. So, oh no, sorry, no, and he's made two substitute appearances. So, so he has sorry scored. He's played four times in total and scored zero goals, and he's. But he has scored one goal in the league. So, play him. And hopefully he might be able to score. I'm going to go out and try and control the match. Uh, tell him to shoot on sight, I think. And hopefully, I should have enough, maybe. If I can get a goal, then I'll go through. And, they, and we don't concede. If we concede, we've got a lot of work to do. Um, issue instruction. No, I'm not going to tell them to do that. I'm just going to say calmly. We're huge underdogs. There's no pressure on you to succeed. Relax, but don't relax too much. Basically. Um, so we got the kick off. Haggerty, Alfi. The end of that. Oh, yellow card for Aaron Burns straight away. Um, they're dominating us when we're trying to control the possession. That's always a good sign. Brilliant. Uh, 20 minutes in so far nothing to say but I know that means they're gonna get it Nichols up to Ledworth no Trotter's got it yeah El news he's got it Forrest Forrest with a run oh what a save Defoe's got to it and Billy Joe Burns forced to put the ball behind in swings Forrest Haggerty away only as far as El Newsy. Um Forrest swings it back in Back out to El Newsy, Ledley, Trotter, Pamic now, and there we are, ball's going to have play, is that the end of that piece of play, it is, so no attack so far, uh, and Aaron Burns is injured, so Paul Dummett's coming on, for Burns, and um, so it's not too great a start, although, so ride this ride the wave 
is the uh, phrase that we've got to think about here and we are dominating now slightly more so that's good we're controlling the match as I wanted but but that means they're probably about to have an attack and they'll probably score 47 48 minutes in and that's the end of the first half I'm gonna assertively say I expect to see a much better showing and Naismith coming off hopefully Lawless can bring something into the game going attacking it's a risk it's a big risk but hopefully it might be something it might pay off just maybe so here we go we're dominating them on possession Gary Hooper could just come on he'll probably score I think everyone's going to score. Um, and if we don't have an opportunity all game, I'm going to be a bit disappointed. And so here we are, it's Matthews, Hammond, uh, Adam Matthews running down the wing, Ledley. Oh, look, goal kick to Linfield. Is that the end of that piece of play? It is. And overload for these final bit. Eight, ten minutes remaining. And I've gone overload. And it's uh, only just going through. So seven minutes remaining. And it's overload time. And also shoot on site. And Matthews, Forrest. Adam Matthews got it. Hammond. Matthews, if we could break up the play at all, that would be great. Hooper, Matthews. Oh, we, the referee checks his watch and blows for full time. Oh my god. Full time. That simply put was not good, good enough. Okay, so we are in the Europa League. Uh, after we had 11 shots actually and we had more on target than them but nothing to shout about all game really and that puts down a disappointing performance really actually that was a really good disappointing performance I would have banked all my players to have scorn there scorn scored yeah I would have um, yeah the banked on them to score but they didn't but Oh well, we're playing in Europa League next season. That's the end of our Champions League adventure. And now we're just ha held tight for the uh, draw of the Europa League. So, once again, I've been Effective Gaming. And um, I will see you guys soon for an episode on how I've done in the rest of the season. And please do like and subscribe to my channel. Goodbye.